It's a care home here with quite a mixed group of clients. And I saw it as a way of introducing daily living tasks and just things that we do every day. You come into our care home and you can keep those things going. So we started with just the basics, folding towels, um, doing your vegetables for your dinner, spreading your own toast in the morning, just the real basics. That way it could be put into the care plans and become part of their life. So it wasn't just a one-off, it was a whole lifestyle change. Veg prepping is mostly Mavis, but anybody who wants to be involved, anybody who wants to come along. Um, the benefits, Mavis's mood is much better. She is keen to get out here in the morning. She wants to know what's happening. She wants to know what's on the menu. She wants to know what she's preparing the veg for, so she's very involved in that. Kind of stuck in her in her in her room. She was a cook beforehand, so we've got her walking from her room up to the lounge, the foyer area, and she's cutting up the veg. She's making cakes. She's getting involved, and then she's walking back down again. And she's she's losing weight. She's a lot more happier, and she's a lot more mobile. Not every day, but but uh, whenever they need one then I do it. And I quite enjoy it. Well, I don't know. That was my job when I was working. Um, before I retired, I was a school cook. And um, when I enjoyed it, then I still do. What we wanted, it, it was just a life change. It's, it's not what we've done before, but it's just encouraging people to do things that they've always done in the past prior to coming into a care home. So I think all the staff, every member of staff, whether you're on the domestic team, the caring team, the maintenance team, everybody's involved. It's the whole staff team, not just carers alone. Margaret suffered a stroke and she had very low mood. She was not motivated to do anything. In her own words, she was finished. She couldn't do anything. Um, I persevered trying to get her knitting, getting back involved in her old hobbies and her old job and she's been doing knitting supported with very little support from me but today she's knitting on her own and I'm very happy. <laughs> we had a relatives meeting which we have every month and we've spoke about the capital project of each one explaining what we're doing and whether they had ideas of how they thought that we could make things happen for their relatives and the ideas that we had whether they felt that they would be beneficial. So yeah. No, you missed. Try again. Come on in. What are you doing here? Well, hang in the water. All right. All right. You get bonnet on. Beautiful. Come on then. That's another door. One thing to please. Uh, life to uh, carry this. It's okay, I'll, I'll come behind you, I'll just come behind you. So oh, you will. Yeah, well. I, I don't know what you to overdo it, you can. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a resident, John Murdoch. He was very down in the dumps when he first came. Um, he lived not far from where I live at home, so I seen him beforehand. And he was always out and about in his garden, always. And when he came here, he was just sat in his room, didn't really do much until we got the gardening involved. He's out there every morning and right to night time we have to go out and ask him to come in for his meals. He just loves it and he's so much happier. His mood has just went from the bottom right to the top. It's brilliant to see. I feel it's important to do the things that they're doing on this Kappa project. It, it gives them a purpose to get up in the morning. It makes them feel good, the thought that they're actually doing things to help others, i.e. like the prepping of the foods. Just generally, a better life. That's how I see it. Some people say a man is made of the mud. They all will say he's a Muslim blood, a Muslim blood. See in the bowl, a man that's weak and by control. Sixteen tons and the man is cold. Sabo, say well, bless my soul. Okay. Very good. Bravo, bravo. bravo. <laughs>